The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter is made possible by a contribution from Rather Dashing Games. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today, what are we opening up, Megan? Wakening Lair. This is from Rather Dashing Games. Mm -hmm. It's a, kind of a card-based dungeon game. Uh, don't know much about it, so why don't we open it up and see what's inside. All right. Okay, so I want to point out this is kind of neat packaging. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a uh, locked journal. Yeah, because you see like the top here and you see the lock there. It's pretty cool looking. Here's what the uh, back looks like. Do you know much about this game? No, I don't. It just came out. Alright. Or it's getting ready to come out. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Uh, ooh, the box opening is kind of cool as well. So here is our rule book. Two to six players take on the roles of heroic adventurers who band together to defeat the monsters inhabiting a nearby dungeon lair. Yeah, you can see how this is going to uh, get laid cool. out there. That's pretty cool looking. Um, gameplay and what the cards do. Whoops, Oop, my yeah. fault. And then winning the game. And Monstrous terror reference. <laughs> Interesting. This is cool. I already like the artwork on some of these. Look at that. Cool. Here this are. This is kind of neat. How these, opens like that. Um, boards are kind of cool. Of the oh, monsters. Wow. They've um, got little wells here with the numbers. I don't know what any of these mean though. But they are pretty cool. That's Whip Tail. Uh, this one's Cinder Shroud here. Yeah, the dungeon door. Um, Mud Muck. The Grim Gear. I like that one. It's like it steampunk. does look steampunkish. Um, Soul Bane. Ooh, he looks kind of cool. And then Widow Fang. Ooh, a spider. Here. Spiders. Why couldn't it be followed the butterflies? Us? So, 10 points if uh, anyone knows that reference and puts it in the comments. Yeah. Let us know your house. I'm always curious. I'm a Hufflepuff. You just gave it away. What? The reference. I said your house. I never said who said it. Well, it wasn't that. It was trying to get somebody to... So, never mind. You're not going to get the what 10 points. What movie is it from? Well, Which I think one? You, I think you kind of gave it away there. Oh, oh well. If there's eight movies, they can guess. <laughs> Okay, here we have different, I'm trying to see if there's different breakdowns here. Alright, here looks like here's some of your characters. There are double-sided with two different ones, so that's kind of cool. So you have... Mobius. So you got blue, green, and red colors there. Don't know if that really matters. I don't know either. Nope. And here, it's all, it's so you got, you've got uh, the boys on one side and it looks like the girls on the mm -hmm. other side. That's good. Um, here you've got the back of the same dungeon door, but then here you've got some different, like, So those are numbered. Emble. Oh, they're all ones. <laughs> no, but the designs are different. Yeah. Those are there's twos. twos. So there's ones and twos, looks like. Okay. Then we've got... This deck. Okay, you can kind of see it looks like uh, it looks like a ghost. Ghosts that and looks goblins. like a gremlin. What are Who these? Knows? So these are our, uh, there's a dire bat. So it looks like these are the Monsters. things that you're going to be oh, fighting. Hey. What? It's a troll. In it's a dungeon. troll in the dungeon. I thought <laughs> I you should know. It's a dungeon troll. Goblin assassin. Oh, I thought he had a pacifier. <laughs> just his little beard. So you can just thing. see these real quick. I'm assuming these are the values of the dice you have to get. Probably, something like that. Monstrous Terror Awakens. Ooh. So different levels, it looks like. Oops. Let's drop one there. A Plague Rat. Lovely. Give you that one back. And then here we have like some treasures. So, or a trap. That one's a trap. It's a trap! Uh, Scroll of Resurrection. So it looks like we've got those. You could either get that. We've got some voodoo dolls, dragon breath elixir, 
Beads of the Four Winds. So we've got a couple of those. Book of Illusions. Did it say Grimfrost? It did, not the Bifrost. It's Grimfrost. Orc Scorcher. That sounds like what the hobbits needed. Phoenix Bow. Quicksilver Thieves Dice. Loaded Dice. But I have a question. Yeah? Does this Quicksilver die? I mean, it's too soon, dude. I, I was an unnecessary death, in my opinion. That's why I don't like that movie. <laughs> I liked him. So we've got some small wooden blocks. We have red and we have white. Yeah, just your typical normal little wooden painted ones. Oops, I just ripped that bag. Good job. <laughs> Box inside looks pretty nice. We're just storing those. We've got um, little wooden discs here. They have some different symbols on them again. Um, so a cauldron on that one. Let's see, fist, sorcerer's hat, sun, skull. A guitar. Guitar, a spear, and uh, some swords. That almost looks like a green arrow head. Ha ha ha. And then here are the uh, white cubes. Mm-hmm. And we have some, not your typical dice there. And you're the Dice Man, so I'll let you look at those. The Dice Man. Andrew dice. dice Clay was the Dice Man. He's not. He was a very foul-mouthed comedian in the uh, late 80s. Yes. So, we've got our typical dice here. But they're not with pips. They do not have they're pips, they have numbers. Mm -hmm. So... It's not quite so typical, it's a little bit different. No. And that's about it. So that is Wakening Lair from... Kinda show that off more oh yeah more characters yeah it looks like your different character types yeah it's the character we've already seen so Those it's pretty cool though it's the one on one side and the other Gives side a bit more of a description of them so basically yeah. your different types barbarian wizard a bard a uh, monk necromancer ranger uh, paladin, a witch, and a rogue. And those probably correspond to those icons that were on here because kind of in the background of text. Yeah. That's kind of huh? Kind of color coded, coded yeah. there. So yeah, so that is Wakening Lair from Rather Dashing Games. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.